Hey, welcome back everyone. We've got the new 253 DPI with us today, the, the new LCD menu. We're just gonna run through the steel side real quick, uh, just doing some regular hard wire. Uh, we're gonna do some short circuit, then we're gonna switch over and do some single pulse, uh, get it into spray. Uh, we're gonna be using the power set mode just to show you guys that we've revamped it and it's working pretty much spot on now. So let's go ahead, we'll get some plates tacked up and we'll get started. All right, so let's come over to the power set mode. We're on our argon CO2 mixes. We are actually running C10 today. I'm gonna hit power set mode. We're gonna drop down. We're not running 24 thousandths wire, so we're gonna bump that up to 035. We are running ER70, and we are gonna be on some eighth inch material. So there we go. Now we're all set up. So we'll go ahead and tack these plates up and we'll make a couple runs to show you guys what it looks like. So now we got our plates tacked up. We'll do a little push and then we'll do a little uh, a little pull. I'll show you guys how this thing runs on power set mode. Just a nice little, nice little push. I was gapping it out a little bit too much there. Let's do a, a little drag for you. A little move and pause, not whipping it. So there you go, pretty clean little run. On that, when I was pushing it, I was maybe, uh, since I'm a little awkward angle here, I was pushing it a little far uh, before my pauses, so it did get a little, a little ropier than what I'd like. That was more me being at a weird, awkward angle, pushing it like this. But yeah, super simple setup um, on the power set mode. Get you dialed in with the press of a button. Let's go ahead, now that we've ran some short circuit, uh, let's switch over to single pulse and we'll do some spray. And again, we're just going to use the power set mode, make it super easy. So let's come over here. I'm going to skip ahead. So we're on single pulse. We're on power set. Let's drop down. Get our wire up to 035. And we're going to bump our material up to eighth inch. There we go, should be good to go. Let's make another run. We'll do it in between these two. That way you guys can see the difference uh, that, that going into spray and using that single pulse really makes for you. Uh. So for this run, you can see my arc length, my arc length was really long. So what we're gonna do, I actually wanna shorten that arc length up a little bit. So I'm gonna come over here to my arc trim and I'm gonna shorten it up. So I'm gonna go negative one on my arc trim. Let's make another run and see how that does for us. Uh. So we get that spray mode that that our filament metal is actually spraying uh, into the into the joint. It's not actually making contact and making the short circuit. Once the arc's initiated, it stays into a, an actual spray. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. You can see we actually run quite a bit cleaner. We don't get as much spatter when we're running spray. Um, you're a little bit. We could probably go a little bit shorter on our arc length there still, just to trim it into what how I like to run and what that arc link or that trim does, that arc trim does, is it actually controls from the tip of your wire to the material, how long that arc is. So if you want to tighten it up a little bit, then you can, 
just come over and, and shorten that arc trim. Or if you want it to be a little bit longer, and it can kind of matter with what gas you're using. So we're using C10. If you're using like a 98.2, that arc trim is going to be a little bit different between gases. So that's why it is adjustable. But that's what that does is it controls how far back your wire is burning from the material. So we could even go a little bit shorter with C10 and just tighten that up a little bit. And it'll give us a little more control over our, our deposition rate. All right, so now that I kind of explained what arc trim did for us, I said I went from zero down to one. So now I actually, I wanna go back down to negative two on my arc trim. And we'll get another arc shot of that and really pay attention to how far away from the material that the wire is burning off. And that's what that arc trim is gonna do for us. I think this negative two is gonna be spot on for kind of my technique and, and where I'm at at the moment. Yeah, that was a lot better. So playing with that arc trim can really change your results. You know, I, I felt that first two runs that, that that wire was burning back a little bit too far. It was actually hard for me to see the wire. Granted, I'm looking from the back side of the torch, so it's going to be more difficult anyway. But just going down to that negative two, it really tightened up our arc, made it a lot more controllable for our deposition rate versus versus our first two runs using spray. So Playing with that arc trim, even in power set, is super helpful to help really dial in the, uh, the arc characteristic that you want. All right, so just a little short and sweet, just going over some of the hard wire settings on the new 253 DPI with the, the upgraded LCD menu. Uh, obviously makes it a lot easier to know what you're adjusting. Um, the addition of the power set mode clearly makes it super easy. You know, we didn't really have to touch anything. A little bit on the pulse. Uh, just to really dial in our arc length for how I wanted it to run. But again, you can see, you know, super clean, super clean run on that. Basically beginner setup, press one button, a little bit of dialing in, and you're, you're off and running on spray arc on eighth inch mild steel. So if you're looking for a, a super powerful, uh, professional grade, single and dual pulse MIG machine, uh, steel or aluminum, check out the 253 DPI with the new LCD menu. I'm Jesse McCollum. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys soon.